hello welcome to my youtube channel if you're a returning subscriber welcome back if you're new to this channel please do subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button that is below so in this video i'm going to show you how to upload thumbnail for your videos and how to add clickable links to your videos just as this that you can see up here so if that sounds like something you're interested in keep watching this video okay first thing you want to do now is to visit your browser app whatever browser app you are using just click on it open it visit the youtube website www.youtube it's already that's brought out suggestions for me so i'm just going to click on it and let it load now this is it now this is how youtube looks like normally on my normal youtube app but i am using a browser app so this is it now the thing is you can't edit um your thumbnail you can't upload your thumbnail you can't add clickable links to your youtube video via this way like this normal youtube app so what you have to do is change this to the desktop mode you can do this on your phone as i am using a phone at the moment but if you have a system it will show directly you don't have to start changing anything anyway so if you have a phone this is what you would do it would do it will look as though you are working on a system now change this mode to the desktop mode and how do you do that if you use an android i think there's usually a three dots at the right side so you click on it then you see desktop sites you just tap on the desktop site and it converts but yeah i use an iphone so you click on this a sign this double a sign then you can see request desktop website i tap on that and it converts as though i am using a system as you can see it now so when you open youtube on your system this is what it looks like and now it is looking like that on my phone as well so let's visit my youtube studio now before um we are able those of us that do not use phone for youtube for every of our edit on our channel we're able to have the youtube studio app on our phone alongside using the youtube studio in the browser site but now there is a new update you can't use the youtube studio app on your phone and also use it um in the desktop mode because once you click on youtube studio here it will direct you back to the youtube studio app on your phone so what i did was i deleted the youtube studio app so i would be able to do um to use this word because anything i can do on that app i can also do it here but it's just that that app is simpler to use and not simpler like it's faster to access than me coming here converting to desktop mode and all of that but you can't do some edits on the app but you can do them here so that's why this one is better so let's take it to youtube studio what you do is click on this part where you have your display picture so you zoom it if you can you zoom it then you click on it once you click on it once you click on it it loads then you see your channel purchases and membership then you see youtube studio so click on youtube studio it automatically loads as well then you just now you can see this is my recent video so you can see tiny tiny um icons on this left side so click if you don't know them before you have to click on this horizontal line this three horizontal line that is directly beside the studio sign click on it then it just brings out what each of the icons are called so you want to go to your content side where you have your content this is your dashboard normally for the recent upload then go to your content that's where you can see all of your videos when i click on it it loads for all of my videos so these are my videos yet now this is where the edit is usually done now i have my recent video that i'm going to use to explain how this is done you click on it then you see some icons again when you just like just by tapping on the video so you click on this first icon that looks like a pencil that is what you use to edit the video in the youtube studio on desktop mode so this is it you zoom it in zoom it in now this is title this is the caption i used and all of that so come here you can see thumbnail here now this is thumbnail i 
click on upload thumbnail visit my photo library you should have created your thumbnail already now you can see my thumbnail here i just tap on it and i choose so that is it then you come to this part you can see it has been uploaded here but you have to come here and click on save now that is one save now that is one it's saving my network is not so strong sorry about that so once that one saves we we'll move over to the next one by adding clickable links to your video now before you make your video public you should have done all of this it should not be nice to upload your video first and start updating um uploading your thumbnail so you can make your video private when you are uploading when you are uploading so when it's uploads finish it's private only you can see it so when you are done with your um thumbnail your end screen your um clickable link then you can make your video um public so people can view it but before you do all the edits make sure your video is private so the thumbnail has been updated already as you can see here so let's go on to adding clickable links to your video how do you do that you come to this side directly underneath the uploaded video you come here you zoom now i've zoomed it to the highest then you click on cards they are called cards click on cards when it loads you see this this is how it looks like you have video playlist channel you that means you can add links to um any of your previous video any of your pre, um, playlist and any channel you want to add so let's do that now so this is my card i'm going to click on the video click on the plus sign first when you click on that you have your videos your old videos shows click on anyone to select from let me click on one of my recent video beginner friendly video click on that when you click on that now you can see this timing here sometimes it selects time automatically itself but in a situation whereby you are saying click on the link above here you have to check the time that that falls into um in the video go check it on your gallery check the time it falls into and come and fix it here by yourself so this first zero zero is the minute like at what minutes did you mention that if you mentioned it when your video was on three minutes you click you change it here to be um three minutes then when at what seconds was it when three minutes 23 seconds three minutes 59 seconds you click um you write it here as well you input it let me just pick 23 seconds because i didn't mention any link whatsoever in this video so how many seconds like at what what seconds frame do you want it to show before it disappears again so i usually select 12 seconds or 8 seconds so let me just select 8 seconds here that is how you do this you can add up to five clickable links in your video as you can see here it's already showing a beginner friendly videos that's it so you can actually change the text you can customize it you can see so you have it here teaser text optional like you can just change what it means to call people attention the more so let's add another one let's add playlists now you click on playlist uh, these are my playlists here so i just click on vlogs playlist i also change the time here now i can add it to like my video is 22 minutes long so i can select 10 minutes when it's on 10 minutes it pops up and maybe 10 minutes when it's, the video is on 10 minutes five seconds it pops up and the frame lasts for let's say 12 seconds so this is simply how to do it i have cards i don't use to add channel links to my videos because i don't it's not necessary except i'm featuring a channel so let me um add another playlist i usually like to add playlists because that makes people click on my playlist that way they're able to see more videos so let me click on content creation i've added one for three minutes one for ten minutes and let me add one for say um seven minutes i don't want it to be too far seven minutes let's say seven minutes at seven minutes it would pop up let's say seven minutes 35 seconds and it would last for eight seconds so that is it for that now let me add another one <laughs> let me add another one my youtube studio filming space 
now you can see this one selected time itself at three minutes 55 seconds but i would not want that because i already have a video at three minutes already so i like to space my link so it doesn't bore my viewers let me take it to 15 minutes 55 seconds eight seconds so you can see now everything aligned up that is simply how to add clickable links to your videos after this you make sure you click on save so what you did did not just go like that a bit does not just go like that so how do you add end screen now end screen are those icons that pops up at the end of your video like towards the end of your video when your video is about to end you know some video icons pops up and people can click and it directs them to watch the video so it is also good to add end screen to your videos because it gives your videos more view it makes people see more of your videos especially those that watch your video to the end so how do you add end screen to your video this is it tap on end screen yeah i already have end screen on this video because i've uploaded it before so how do you do that i think i just have to like delete it let me delete it for you so you can understand so these are templates you can follow you can select one you can select a lot here this, well, i usually use this last one one video one playlist one subscribe like i want to put three so people can really see my other content so i select the third the last one there now this is my um subscribe icon if i click on that i can move it to any angle i want it to be so let me move it down yeah i don't like to overlap mine so that is my subscribe icon so anybody that clicks on that can directly subscribe to my youtube channel then for this this is playlist i click on playlist and that will automatically take me takes me to my playlist board i can select any of my playlists i want to show at the end of my video so i'm going to click on content creation playlist and this is it i can move this one as well to anywhere i want it to be but i think i'm fine with where it is now so the next video um the next icon sorry we have it here now look at this we have most recent upload best for viewer choose specific video so this one you can choose your most recent upload if you click on that youtube will automatically select your recent upload as the one that will show there but if you click on best for viewer youtube select randomly from any of the video that they think that viewer would be interested in so you can also choose um select choose specific video that way you are the one that will choose the video you want to show but i do not do this method because i believe youtube knows my viewers more than me so what i do is pick um for best viewer so youtube automatically selects that for me so here we have it this is how long each of these end screen would stay on my video now this is it i've selected the template i want this to look like this in my video so that is how to add end screen to your video as well so remember to save as well so i've saved it that way now after saving if your video was on private my own video is already on public before because i've uploaded the video long ago like since um a few hours ago so but i've done all of that so i had to delete and use this video for example so if your video is still on private you can just simply tap on here you can see this or directly opposite the video as well just tap on it zoom tap on this public this is private you have private you have unlisted you have public you have schedule it so instead of that i used to do private and immediately take it to public when i'm done with my edits now that's where we are done adding thumbnail adding end screen and adding clickable links to your video so this is simply how to do all of that stuff